Waka. Hello, I'm B. Nicole, and this is Buried on the Tundra. I wish to acknowledge that I record this podcast on the ancestral land of the Yupik Chupik people. I acknowledge this is not only in thanks to the indigenous communities who have held relationships with the land for generations, but also in recognition of the historical and ongoing legacy of colonialism. Additionally, I acknowledge this as a point of reflection for all of us as we work towards dismantling colonial practices. Do you like Buried on the Tundra and want to make your own podcast? Let me tell you about Anchor. It's 100% free. It has lots of tools to record and edit your podcast from anywhere. On your phone, iPad, tablet, or even your computer. Now you can even add songs from Spotify into your episodes. Anchor will distribute your podcast to all the big platforms, so you are instantly on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and many more. You can even make money with no minimum listenership. A one-stop shop to make a podcast. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Sulawik is an Inupiaq village in the northwest Arctic borough. It means place of sheafish in in Yupiaq. In 2020, the population was about 809 people. In the prior census, there were 172 households and 147 families residing in the village. The racial makeup at the time was 3.2% white, 0.1% African American, 94.8% Alaska Native, 0.78%, Asian, 0.13%, Pacific Islanders, 0.9% were from two or more races, and 0.1% were Hispanic. The median income for a household in the village was about $25,625. And the median income for a family was $27,639. About 34.6% of families and 34.4% of the population were below the poverty line. An interesting fact, if you've been watching the Alaska Daily Show, one of the main characters has said that her father is living in Selawik. On March 29, 2022, between the hours of 4.30 and 5.30 a.m., a house fire began in Selawik. Residents attempted to use shovels and snow to put the fire out. At 6 a.m., the Alaska State Troopers were notified of the fire. The Selawik VPOs told the troopers the four residents of the home were missing. On the same day, a team of deputy fire marshals traveled from Anchorage to Selawik to investigate the fire. During the fire marshal's investigation, they found the remains of who they believe to be 49-year-old Fred Cleveland, 33-year-old Rishonda Russell, a 6-year-old child, and a 4-year-old child, the four people who are missing. The preliminary findings suggested the fire was not suspicious in nature. They do believe that there were no working smoke detectors inside the home. The remains were sent to the state medical examiner's office for positive identification. little is published about the four victims. Fred Cleveland was 49 years old at the time. Shinda Russell was 33. And I believe the six-year-old and four-year-old child were their children. You can find case pictures, source materials, and a case map showing you the locations of each of the villages I've talked about 
go to buriedonthetundra.com. You can follow me on Facebook at Buried on the Tundra. You can also follow me on Instagram at Buried on the Tundra Podcast. Like, subscribe, review the podcast on whatever platform you're using. Next week, we're going to look at a unique murder that happened in Stony River. If you'd like to suggest a case, please send an email to buriedonthetundra at gmail.com. Warmest wishes from the coldest state.